and welcome back to another episode of Easy As That. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and showing you how to fully set up these three-pack Mirabella Genio Wi-Fi Full HD indoor cube cameras. Let's get it open. Now these cube cameras only work with 2.4 GHz networks and not 5 GHz. And if you'd like it to automatically take and save videos when they detect movement, you're going to need a micro SD card, which is sold separately. First up here, we have the instructions, and then we also have three of the cube cameras themselves. Now beneath them, we also have their power cord. And finally, some double-sided sticky tape, as well as a reset pin. Now the uses of these cameras can vary from being a baby monitor, all the way to indoor home security. And if you would like to install a micro SD card, you can do so just there. Now let's move on to setting these up. Now the micro USB plug on this here actually plugs into the camera and then the USB plugs into your standard wall plug or if you have one, your PowerPoint. Now the plug-in spot is just at the back here. Now once they're all plugged in, you're going to need to wait 10 to 30 seconds until the red light up here blinks rapidly. Now once it does start blinking rapidly, it will also make a tone. Now once the tone is heard, you can go ahead and start downloading the Mirabella Genio app. The spelling's just down in the corner there. Now you can type in your app store Mirabella Genio or you could scan the QR code on screen now. You need to tap download. Once you've got the app, tap sign up. Now you can read their user agreement and privacy policy and then type in your email address. Now tap get verification code. Now a verification code will be sent to that email. If it doesn't show up, make sure you typed your email correctly and that you checked your spam and junk folders. Now it's important that you know that this app will require location services enabled for it to work. Once you're in, tap add device. Now on the side menu, tap security and sensor and then tap Genio Cube camera. Now if you follow the steps that I showed you before with plugging it in and waiting 30 seconds and the device is blinking rapidly, tap next. Now, if you're connected to your network, your Wi-Fi name should already show up and you'll just need to put in your password. As I mentioned before, only 2.4 GHz networks are supported and not 5 GHz. Now, your camera is going to need to scan a QR code. I'm going to show you how to do this on camera. Now, you're going to need to select one of your cameras. I'm just going to choose this one and you need to hold your phone around 15 to 20 centimeters away from it and allow it to scan the QR code. Now it will play a sound and that means you can tap beep slash indicator switched. And now your device will start to add. This shouldn't take too long. And there, your device is successfully paired to the app. Now we can tap done. Now you're going to need to repeat this setup process for the remaining two cameras. All you really need to do is the same thing. Select Genio's cube camera, put in your Wi-Fi network details, and then scan the QR code. Now each of these will register as a different device on the app. Now once you've added them all to your app, tap one and then tap the pencil in the top right hand corner. Now scroll down to the bottom until you see firmware information. Tap it and it will check for updates. It's important that you do update it if it asks or else it won't work properly. Now you need to repeat this step with all the other cameras. All right, and now I'm gonna show you some of the functions of this camera. Let's start off with the screenshot function. Next up, we have the record function. Now, both of these are actually saved in app, in a folder down the bottom. From here, you can actually save them to your actual phone gallery. Next up, we can use the speak function. Hello, is anybody there? Now, we can also unmute and mute audio. Next up, we have the playback function. This is only if you have a micro SD card installed. So when it detects movement, it will record it and then save it in there. Now here we have the alarm or motion detection settings. Here we can turn it on and adjust the sensitivity level. Now we can also use the new activity area function. As you can see, we can select certain parts of the screen where we'd like it to try and test if there's movement. And finally, we have cloud storage. Now this is a paid subscription and it does cost extra money. Now what this is, is basically video cloud storage where you can save videos. Now let's say if you'd like to rename a device, just tap it and then tap the pencil in the top right hand corner. Now here, tap your device. Now tap device name. Here you can change it to anything you'd like. Now tap save. 
Next up, I'd like to show you a function that allows you to view all of your cube cameras at once, including other Mirabella cameras. It's on the left of the plus in the top right hand corner. Once you tap it, they'll start to retrieve their video streams and then you can view all of your camera's video at once. Now, to view a camera in full screen mode, simply double tap it. Now, you can always swipe and view the next one. Now, if you long press, you'll actually be able to go straight to that and view all of the proper functions. Now, there are actually a few functions down the bottom here, such as unmute, take photo, speak and record. Now, let's say if you don't have a micro SD card installed, but you'd still like to have a general idea of what happened when they detected movement. Luckily, the app's thought of this. Go down to me in the bottom right hand corner and then tap message center. Now you will see the alarms. You can choose any one of your devices. Now it should actually show you a picture. You see, whenever it detects movement, it will save a picture here. So you can have a general idea of what's going on. This is for every one of your cameras, as long as they have movement detection on. Now I'm back on my main account now and I've got all my devices and I'm gonna show you what they all look like together. Now these first three here are my indoor cameras that I'm reviewing. This is my doorbell my indoor pan and tilt, and my driveway. Now this is what nighttime mode looks like on the camera. As you can see, it's in black and white. All right, and now I'm gonna show you how to make these cameras stick to a surface. For this step, we're gonna use these which are included. Now there are six of these, as well as three pins, which in my opinion, isn't the best for the environment, as you're only ever gonna need one. Now you're gonna to need to unpeel this on both sides. And once you've got both sides off, it should look like this. Now, on the bottom of one of your cameras, you should see that it should align up just perfectly with this. And now, you just need to do that again, but for the other side. Now repeat this process with all the other cameras. Now we can either stick them to a desk, or even stick them to a wall if we'd like. Alright, and now it's time for the part of the video where I discuss any problems I had with these products, and give them an overall review. Let's start off with delay. Now, the actual delay between what the camera saw and what actually happened in real life was a few seconds. Now, if you talked through the app, it would actually come through pretty fast. However, when this actually heard noise from inside the house, it took a while for the device to receive that. Now, in terms of loading and how fast it actually was, this really does depend on your internet quality. Now, in terms of aesthetics, I think they look pretty nice, just like the other Genio cameras. They're pretty small, so they can blend in. And as you can see, they can rotate like this, and also look down. Now as always with these Genio cameras, there was a problem in the nighttime vision when they were near mirrors. I'll show you what that looks like here on screen now. Now in terms of setup, I think that these were a little harder than the other indoor cameras that I've reviewed to set up. It's just because there was no option to set up all three at once and you had to basically set up each one as an individual product. But besides the repetition, I think they were still pretty easy. Now in terms of value for money, I think that these cameras are absolutely amazing. They're so much better value than my other cameras I've reviewed, as you get three of them for the price of $100, which is basically one doorbell or one outdoor camera, or one and a half indoor cameras. Now here are my final two problems. The first one is that the cord is actually way too short. It's just unrealistic. No one is actually going to have their camera that close to a PowerPoint all the time. Now my final problem is something that could be easily fixed by Mirabella, which is why it's disappointing to find it still around. These cameras don't actually have any functionality with tap to run or automation scenarios. When you try to actually add them to these, they don't even show up in your device menu. So this is why I'm giving these Mirabella Genio 3-pack Wi-Fi Full HD indoor cube cameras a 4 out of 5 stars. And now the question is, do I recommend you buy them? Well, I recommend you buy these if you have a lot of extension cords for all the short cables. Now, also don't go buying these thinking you're going to do some amazing automation because it's just not going to work. However, besides all that, they're really great value for money as you get three. And not to mention, they give you all the functions of the $60 camera with a few extra. Now, I also really do love their new activity zoning function, which allows you to only search for motion detection in certain areas. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you need any more help and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can also help me out by subscribing so I can keep on helping you. Until next time, this has been Easy As That. See ya!
Now you're probably here because I linked this moment in a timestamp in the comments. If you'd like to reset your device, simply grab your pin and then you need to look on the side of your camera and then find the reset hole which is right next to the micro SD card slot. Now simply push your pin in here and you need to hold this for 5 seconds. And now your device should be reset. 